You too, what's good? It's your boy Flix by Marlin here, back with another video. And I just want to say a happy new year to everybody out there. This is the first video of the year. And as you see, I got a new method right now for recording. My microphone is kind of messed up right now, so I'm just going to use my phone mic, sync it up in uh, post processing, see how it turns out. But in today's video, I'm going to be shooting some Cinestro 800 on my Pentax 67. Went out to shoot after work. It was a couple of days last week of the year where it was kind of nice. So I was like, I'm gonna, might as well just go shoot at night after work. I feel like the photos I got were pretty good. I didn't get to record the whole process of the shots. So some of the shots you're going to see, I'm not going to have any like video of me taking the shot. You're going to see at the end of the video, I'm going to just go over the shots that you didn't get to see in the recording process of the video. I'll just explain what my thought process is with each one. So voiceover Marlin right now. Here you see me loading the Pentax 6 7 and the reason I sped this up is because it took me a whole two minutes to load this film. This is, I only use this camera a handful of times so it's still a struggle but I promise you I'm getting better. <laughs> I like how the station looks. Like the vibes. Pretty dope. Got a train pulling in right now, actually. But yeah, let me get a shot here and then I'm gonna go West 4th Street. Get a shot there. That's a classic civil school 800. So pretty much what I'm gonna do is just compose this shot right now. I'm gonna take is just pretty much gonna try to get this into the shot. Got the 105 2.4. So it should be wide enough, I think. Yeah, hopefully, I can get a train streaking in the uh, in the photo, so it look pretty dope. Got the shot composed. Now I'm just waiting for the train to pull up. Let's see how long that takes. Let's got the shot. Hopefully, it comes out good. Uh, I did a one-second exposure. So right now, I'm about to be on my way to the next spot, which is Westport. Get a shot there, and then just. Head out of the station, just walk about and see what I can find. Yeah, so I'm about halfway through the roll, but not really recording content right now because um, it's a lot of people out here and I don't really have the best camera right now. I'm just using my phone. I need a cameraman, so if you want to be my cameraman, let me know. So every time I'm over here, I like to get a shot of this corner over here. You know, always a good vibe. My first time shooting it with Cinestol though, so let's see how it goes. So I just finished up getting that shot. Right now I'm just walking around. I've got a couple shots left on a roll. Um, we'll see how things go. I'm just walking around Soho area right now. I'm going to the Lower East Side pretty much. Uh, I think the shots I took so far are pretty good, but I'll have to see. Just got a shot here at Spring Street. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, I didn't really get to record the content for each photo that I took. So I'm just gonna go over each photo that I liked uh, during the roll. So here's the first photo I'm gonna talk about, which is the first photo that I took on a the, on the roll, which is at a 14th Street on the F. And this shot came out perfectly how I wanted it to be I at first I didn't like how that person was in the photo but then looking back at it it actually makes the photo better in my opinion everything about this photo I just like I just like the tones the halations are not overpowered it is sinister so you know you're gonna get those red halations but it's not too overpowered in this shot I exposed the shot a little bit underexposed uh, it wasn't too crazy with the halations. Second photo I want to talk about is this one right here, drugstore one. I as soon as I seen that sign when I left the um, West Fourth Street station when I was walking, I was like, I had to take a picture. And I love how this shot turned out. I I do wish that I had uh, composed the shot a little bit better. It wasn't as centered as I 
thought it was gonna be. But that's one thing, it's kinda hard to focus with the 105. It's kinda hard to focus with the 105 when the subject is not like right in front of your face because like when I first bought this camera I had the 165 2.8 and it's a zoomed in lens so it wasn't too hard to focus but this 105 even though I'm kind of nailing the focus it's still kind of hard to like focus it takes me a lot longer than I wish that I would and you can end up missing a shot if you don't like you know focus quick enough the third shot I want to talk about is the corner deli or corner diner I think it's called um, every time I come out here, I always take a photo of this. This one was actually the first one that I took. But the one that I showed in the video, early in the video, was actually the second one, which I never really took a shot from that angle before at this location. So I want to refresh something new, and I did like it better than this one here. And I do think it's a little bit underexposed, though, like the people in front. But then at the same time, it's kind of hard to focus. It's kind of hard to meter with, like, a bright neon sign and people in the forefront in the foreground because like I don't want to overexpose the sign but at the same time I don't want to underexpose the people too much so I think this shot is a decent balance of the two the last shot I want to talk about is this parking garage shot right here this is the one of the last shots in a row and I do like how this shot turned out I do like the colors I do think it's missing something and I do wish there was like a subject other than like the signs in the shot like a car or a person but other than that the tones I like the halations are not too blown out this roll is pretty good I do have other shots in a roll that not really worth mentioning to be honest so I'm gonna leave it off here and 2023 man hopefully you guys could see me more on YouTube